2.0. Now, imprint we had already covered before that is impacting research, innovation and technology. So what were the key highlights of imprint that we have already discussed in our previous class? So it aimed to solve the technology and engineering challenges. It is an initiative of IIT and IASC Bangalore has been funded by MHRD and Department of Science and Technology and the Uchitar Avishkar scheme has been subsumed under it. Also, some of the major areas includes health, nanotechnology, advanced resources, sustainable habitat development. So those were the key focuses of the government under imprint scheme and there were 10 thrust areas or key areas that had been promoted. However, recently we have imprint 2.0. Now under imprint 2.0, any of the faculty members who uh, are part of the MHRD funded institute or a centrally funded technical institution can apply as a principal investigator for a imprint project and they can co they can have a co principal investigator which could be uh, from any ministry institution a PSU a strategic agency that could be there now proposals under imprint 2.0 are interesting it should be able to address any of the declared themes the 10 themes that have been given uh, the 10 domains of imprint that we have focused in our first lecture and should be able to connect a new research idea to the existing research idea under the same domain. Also, the project proposal should be very, very clear, very, very convincing and it should be focused on translational research similar to the STARS scheme that we have talked about, again released by IASC. Now, uh, translational means the research should be directly applicable to some of the ground realities and the focus is to make research implementative. Uh, so far, the research is a separate domain and it is actually not practically implemented a lot in India. To bring the amalgamation of research with the practical implementation, translational approach is important and it is a kind of India-centric research where the recent problems uh, in various regions are taken into consideration and research work on the same problems has been uh, conducted through viable technology. This includes product, process and prototype. So three uh, P technology or three P technology as it is called as the product, the process and the prototype. Now, uh, as we said, the key highlights include Converting a translatory knowledge into a viable technology, you have numerous projects with a significant budget being coming up. Uh, equal partners for the scheme are MHRD and DST. It is open to all MHRD funded higher educational institutions and centrally funded technical institutions and 27 minister, ministries of government of India are now partnering to imprint to and this would be also supported by industry if it is preferred in certain cases. So again, a very very important topic for your higher education we would be bringing in many such interesting topics for you stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead